Hope you're all enjoying the series and having a great holiday season. And today we're going to look at a proverb that tells us which side you want to block on. So let's bring something to the fore, shall we? Let's say our opponent... Yeah, we can do something here, can't we? Yes, we can. You have to forgive me that I'm, I make a lot of these variations up uh, <laughs> kind of off the top of my head. Let's say we build a little something something here. Building a little something something here. Not going to go into the avalanche, don't worry. That has no place here today. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Let's say our lovely opponent decides to allow us to build a wonderful invasion point and they decide to tackle it head on right at the source. We have to decide if we are going to block at A or B. Not letters that are not going to be in the video, so I'm not sure why I said them. But usually what we want to figure out is which side is a larger side and block that way. So to that end, if we block here, for example, building a wall in here, then we're trying to make an area between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, roughly 10, uh, 10 lines across. On the other hand, we've also got this area, which I don't think I need to count. It's a bit larger. Plus, added to that, we've got the extra danger that there's Aji here because there's cutting stones. We're capped. If we're looking at which way we should grow, uh, should block to grow to our maximum potential, uh, it's obviously the larger side. And the larger side is obviously this one, given uh, the cap that we have here, the Aji, and the shorter areas that we see on part of the board. So what we want to do is make a wall facing the other way, and let's not get into thoughts about double haunting or anything like that. Let's just make a little thing like so. Not the best, not the very, very best of examples, but you can see uh, the general idea. Let's use another example. Okay, in this example, we do something a little bit different, huh? Let's use dual 4-4 four, four points this time. Let's go and approach, back off. Maybe a back off high. Our opponent does something like so. Backs off. Same thing. Uh, we probably would get invaded here, but for the sake of for the sake of uh, this experiment, let's look at this instead and try to figure out where we should block instead. Once again, we can see we don't have a corner here. We do have a corner here, so this area is definitely larger than this one. So we would want to block on this side yet again. However, let's change a few things up, shall we? Let's move this here. Let's move that down here. I'm going to borrow you completely off the board, take you off as well. You're going to go back to that. We needed black to have a couple of moves now, otherwise this wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. So let's have you up there. Let's have you here. And then go ahead and invade. Now this one's a little bit trickier. This one's a little bit trickier. I see this one get uh, messed up a little bit more often than the other one. Because so far, given, given what we said so far, we'd want to block this way to grow that area up. But the problem with that is the larger area is a little bit uh, hard to find right now. Because if we do this again, And for some reason, my hard drive is grinding. 
that's probably going to come out in the video. There we go, something a bit like this. We can see that this area definitely wasn't worth very much, but now with Sente, maybe our opponent can attack and then we're in trouble. What do we do then? What do we do then? Was this really the area we wanted to build up when we don't actually have a framework in place? The only framework we had is to this extension, and like it or not, that's the one that we had to kind of go with. So if we take all of that back like this, and move that stone on down this way, then it might have been better in our better interest to block this way, since this way we actually have an extension. If I had played this high, it would have made it a little bit easier. Um, but in my opinion, because we don't actually have any kind of framework on this side of the board, like we did last time, I don't think we would want to actually block and make the wall there, since it might be really, really easy to just go ahead and reduce it. And then after that, what do we have? Let's look at a different example. Let's go back to ye old orthodox yet again, because this comes up a lot. Our opponent decides to enclose, or black decides to enclose, and we get split. Now these three are all options that you might see if your opponent splits you. And as a result, we're going to look at every last one of them. So let's say here, how do we block in this case? Because we have to block one direction or the other. Either we're going to play over here, for example, or we're going to play over here, for example, to kind of block our opponent from uh, going one direction or the other. In this case, we can really push our opponent into a two-space extension, make him nice and tiny, and that could be potentially very, very good for us. If we blocked him the other way, then there might not be a lot of pressure here. And as a result, this isn't going to be sente. I mean, your opponent might play again here to make a larger base, but it's probably not going to be sente. So at that point, our opponent's probably going to play a larger move. Our opponent would definitely not play a larger move if we played this variation, though, because he's very, very tiny. We might even continue following that up and keep attacking here instead of playing a large move down here, because this two-phase extension, if it gets completely enclosed, it's going to be a little bit of trouble. If this split is played here, for example, then the direction that we block is a little bit different. Then we're probably going to play here, because again, we can force into that two-space extension. Now we're getting a corner, we're getting an area over here. You can even block that over here if you're a little bit too worried about being too close to your opponent. I wouldn't be, because this, again, is in a little bit of trouble. And once again, we found the right place to play. If our opponent does this one instead, well, let's. this one gets fun. This one gets fun, because here we've got one, two, three, four, five lines open. Here we have one, two, three, four, five lines open. So now you can actually play on either or. Though if you've been studying Fuseki, you'd know what you really could do, though, is block in this way. Because the, so if we're going to block in the largest area, it seems like developing here is a larger area. So we're more inclined uh, to block this way and try to get this for ourselves. It's also, in case you weren't aware, one of the reasons why we don't see this move anymore. We actually wind up seeing this instead. And the reason for that is because of the understanding of that rather large uh, way you can develop off this side now. Again, it gets a little bit confusing here. If, uh, nope, sorry, here, my bad. It's a little bit confusing here as well. If we have, let's say, the mini Chinese and our opponent splits. 
in fact, our opponent could even split off center. Then, according to what we just found out, we would want to put pressure this way, right? Something like this to force our opponent here. However, this is where things get tricky because the other proverb, one of the other proverbs that we've learned, also comes into play, and in that it is still possible to attack our opponent for uh, profit. And here, it is in fact possible to lean against your opponent after to try to build this area up. You can do that as well. Though mostly I would recommend doing the other way, but it's not wrong to do it the other way that I just mentioned. This could be completely fine. This could be completely fine. Same thing with here. If our opponent splits naturally, we've got one, two, three, four, five lines there. One, two, three, four, five lines here. We can go in either direction. We can go in something like this and profit this way. It's a bit more rare, but we can play here or here and block the other way. So I hope that gives you a little bit more flexibility into your games and a little bit more understanding about why we push in one direction or the other. I'm again sorry about my stupid uh, hard drive that's apparently grinding the crap out of itself tonight. Do not know why that is. I may have to replace it this holiday season. I'm gonna go shoot it. In the meantime, hope you guys have a great holiday season and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care everyone.